Okay, so today we are going to cover contenders. We're going to look through... Yesterday we looked through Pacific and OC contenders. And it was... Not good. That's what I'll say. It was not well played. So we went through... And the reason why it was not well played, if you guys had followed the stream, was because I mentioned how the the teams didn't know where to the teams didn't know where to hold essentially. So that means that when one of them won the first won won the point or they won a fight, then there are areas that they need to set up. There are places they need to hold, places that they need to stand. And essentially, what happened was it didn't look like the teams knew where to hold, where to stand, and each each team true right. So. Fight 1, Team 1 wins, and then Fight 2, Team 1 should win because they have more outs, and then Team 1 loses because they, they held in the wrong area, giving the attacking team like a really, really easy way of like pushing in. And then we, went, we, go, to, we go to Fight 2, where it, a perfect, with perfect play, Team 2 should win, and then Team 1 wins because Team 2 fucks up. So it was just literally a seesaw, right? It didn't matter what ultimates both teams have. It didn't matter uh, whether one, point, uh, one team had like terrain advantage, because on defense, that's the thing, right? On defense, the, the 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 advantage of defense, advantage of defense, advantage of defense, of defense is always uh point control. Point point advantage. So what point advantage means is you get to decide where you want to stand. You get to decide where you want to hold. You get to decide where all six of your uh, uh, teammates get to stand and hold. And then if you see the enemy team coming by a certain pathway, by a certain uh by a certain method or like maybe they move by high ground, maybe they move by main, maybe they move by the left entrance, you can position yourself accordingly to best hold that particular pathing, right? But both teams in uh, the teams in Australian contenders they did not know how to utilize this advantage, how to utilize the point advantage, and essentially, <laughs> even when they win a fight, right, they did not hold in the the, the perfect area, or they did not hold in uh in, in 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 ways that would make it very very hard for the enemy team to 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 return, and hence. They, they didn't win. They, they lost a lot of fights that they could have otherwise won. So point advantage is so powerful, right? Point advantage is so powerful and it's, it's, it's typically made up of like many, many different things. Wait, let me just draw. Point advantage could be made up of... Well, I'm just going to use a better handwriting because uh, handwrite, my handwriting is atrocious right now. So let's grab... Point advantage is equals... Equals win... Uh, being being able to choose where to stand defend being able to stand choose where to stand and where to defend i'm going to make this smaller and it's made up of like um it's better it's made up of like say high ground high ground is one of them it's made up of say cover physical cover where you get to choose like whether like there's this wall that you want to use physical cover they could be choke where uh Narrow chokes, narrow chokes. It could be, um, yeah, it could be just playing far away, f away from enemies. You know, for example, if enemy has Reaper, May, and you have you have Widow, you have Widow, something like that. You can distance, right? So essentially, what point advantage means is the enemy should need to use an ultimate, right? Or you should need to use one more ultimate. Uh, enemy should what this means what this means enemy should need should need to use more than, um, more ultimates than defense team to win the fight so essentially if uh, that the defense team has point advantage. Essentially, the attacking team, right, the enemy team, should need to use more ultimates. So, if for example, if the defense team use one ultimate, enemy should feel like they need to use two ultimates because essentially you need to use one ultimate to uh to win out point advantage to 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 equalize point advantage, and you need another ultimate to win. And a lot of times you see teams using three ultimates to one ultimate to cap the point, or uh two ultimates to zero ultimates to win the fight. And essentially you need to do that. You need to do that because the defend team gets to choose what they want to use, gets to choose what they want to s where they want to stand. So and this is also why winning first fight in cough is so important, right? Because if you win first fight in cough, if you win first fight in cough, you immediately get point advantage. Right and and normally when you win first fight in cough, not only do you get point advantage, you have ultimate advantage. Because winning a fight generally means you do more damage. Generally means you have more ultimates. And if you can win first fight, 
you probably there's a decent chance you win second fight, and by the time the third fight comes, that is the, the enemy's last fight, right? So first fight ends, the enemy the cough goes up to like 30 40 percent, maybe. First fight ends, the person captured the point, you fight the second fight at 30-40%, second fight comes and then you, 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 you the point ticks up to 50-60%, and third fight comes, it's at 99%, so you have to win, the, you're forced to win the third fight in cough. A lot of times if team plays perfectly, they can they can make sure that they can hold up to 99%, and it makes it really, really hard for the enemy team to play. Remember, the enemy team always, the attacking team always have to use a lot of ultimates. So essentially, <coughs> weaker contenders team, they don't really understand uh, how to utilize this point advantage concept, and what happens is, uh, wait, <coughs> what happens is if you don't use the point advantage concept, essentially you just lose, or you lose against bet fundamentally better team. So today we're gonna look at. I don't want to look at like. He pops the oh, I want to look at the finals. The, th the teams that play in the finals. That would be second win and team envy, because what is the point of looking at? Okay, what is the point of looking at? the finals if we cannot look at the top teams, right? So we look at the top teams in Australia, we look at the top teams in uh, EU, we look at the top teams in o Austria, uh, in Pacific, and today we're going to look at the top teams in NA, which I cannot find. It's over here, it's over here, it's okay, it's over here. Alright, and, and today we're going to try to focus on the concept of point advantage. So we're not just going to look at these vaults, we're going to talk specifically about point advantage, right? A lot of mainstay right. talent from NA and E is to be sure. Yeah, sold in the offense average by the threat of right. draws the first. He's gonna, so he's going to be missing from this initial matchup, maybe subbed in late. As okay, expected. we're going to skip the first fight. This is going to go straight into after one team wins. Alright, so the team that won was Team Envy, and now they get to talk about, they, they get to do point the point advantage concept. Potentially wanting to get oh easy with a swap back. Yeah, he, he's just playing with me at this point. Yeah, cast just, the curse, just toying right? with my brain. So keep an eye on Dolphin. <laughs> he's got that pulse bomb. Kev's is about to match him as well. So we've talked about the impact of this when you, especially when you're going up against Zenyatta. Okay, so what? Let, let's talk a little bit about what they're positioning because you can already see a little bit of the point advantage concept being done. So where are everyone positioned? Um, we can see the Brick Zen playing on the left side. Just toying with my brain. Brick Zen seventy six playing on the left side. So keep an eye on Dolph of this when you, especially when you go. Hammond playing on point, and Kev's is about to match him as well. Tracer playing on the right side. So something like this. So we can talk a little bit about whether this is right or wrong. Um, just gotta increase the hero icon size. Oh, this is way too big. Maybe this. I need to make sure the 76 is visible, but not too big. So maybe there's like a brick here, there's like a Zen here, and then they were playing somewhere like here, and then the ball was somewhere on the point, and then you had the Tracer playing here. So, and then you had the Diva playing something like, oh, something like here, where the Diva was kind of holding space. Shit. Was kind of holding space like that. Ah, oh, shit, that, that's not what I want to show. Kind of holding space like that, right? Then the diva was traveling. So this is point advantage. This is really, really powerful point advantage from the team, from the enemy team. Why? Why is this point advantage? Imagine you're an attacking team, right? Imagine you're attacking team and you have to attack into point. So, uh, let me see where I can find stock composition. I don't think I have one. Okay, let's create one. Winston, diva, uh, tracer, sombra, zen, brick. Put this as blue, we'll take this one and we'll... Oh shit, I didn't want this as blue. This should be red as for attacking. Okay, so... So generally speaking, uh, a lot of teams like to play by main, right? A lot of teams like to push out by main and then they like to uh, touch the point and then they start the fight like that. So a lot of teams to start the fight like that. But the problem is, right, here's the problem. If you play this way, if you play this way, this guy gets to fuck up the Winston really, really bad. Really, really bad. These guys are uncontested. So whoever touches the point, these guys, foo, just they don't even need to move. They just stand here, they discard the Winston, the Winston dies in like two, three seconds. So essentially they cannot touch the point. So this position held by the defending team, because it wraps around the point like this, it wraps around the point, it wraps around the point like this. Essentially, they cannot touch the point because they will die. Because these guys are like taking, whew, they are taking a huge amount of space, right? Not only are they touching the point and contesting the point, they're also taking a huge amount of space. So essentially, the first thing that the defending, th the attacking team needs to do is to take cut away one one sector of space. So they need, they need to cut away one sector of space, and it's probably this sector. 
So they need to make sure that the enemy team is, or at least blue team is only playing in this sector, right? So if they can force these guys to move to over here, that's half the battle. So if they can force these guys, these guys to move to over here, that's half the battle because then some of these guys would be able to take this space. And then you would have uh, uh, the enemy team holding more position, right? Because they, they can touch the, they can finally touch the point. Then they can finally touch the point because now you can't actually hit the, the Winston because uh, you get to use the drum. So in Overwatch League, the drum in Busan Century, this is one of the most OP cover, physical cover. This this drum thing is the most OP physical cover. And the reason why Dojo is so powerful, like this area is so powerful, it's a very basic knowledge. The reason why this area is so powerful because if you stand this area and your 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 and your your team split up between this area and this area, area 1 and area 2, essentially they can hit both sides of the drum. They can shoot both sides of the drum and then the drum becomes useless as a cover, which is why so many teams try to vie for co uh, contest this space. You see a lot of teams like try to contest this space is because they want drum, they want somewhere like here, and then they have two areas, right? So it all starts with drum. It all starts with control over drum, which is why you can see uh, the defending team hold drum because they don't want to give it to the team for free and then a uh, second win would essentially need to attack drum and they need to win drum uh, sorry not drum they need to win dojo which is the left side and then uh, hence uh, then after that hold a fight so it all starts with dojo fight what if the hey hello coach hello uh, what if the Winston holds on the right side of the drum on point like over here you mean like over here he still dies he dies to he wait let me just drag this guys he dies to he dies to the tanks pushing him up because the Hammond and the Diva they're not gonna play uh like that for free right they're, these guys are gonna like try to rotate around this tracer is gonna see where the enemy team plays and try to wrap around as well so they'll try to wrap a different angle so it's actually this tracer want to match. Uh, there are many ways you can play Tracer. The One of the ways you can play Tracer is always to scout the enemy Tracer. So if you are defending, right, you can try to fight the enemy Tracer one-on-one. -on -one. So if we remove these two out of the table because they are busy fighting one-on-one, -on -one, essentially it's a 5v5. And this is a very, very fat, powerful 5v5. It's a lot harder to dive the Zen and the 76 and break when if you don't have a Tracer. Because the Sombra does less damage than the Tracer, right? The Tracer is essential to dive. Like It's harder for the Sombra to dive because if the Sombra gets scouted out, the Sombra gets used translocate and he gets back to the team. So a lot of times on defense, uh, a lot of defense tracer like to find the enemy uh, attacking tracer and then they just muck the enemy tracer and they just fight all around the map so that the enemy team has to dive as a five man unit and then the defending team is okay with fighting as a five man unit because they have point advantage so they don't care even if they're they're one tracer down they also have a 76 which is like more powerful in the neutral fight and uh, is able to dish out more damage than the sombra so yeah, that's that's what happens if the Winston hides a drum. Uh, essentially, the two tanks are gonna try to fall, pressure the Winston along with the tracer. And even if these guys fight these guys, remember that these guys get to fuck up the guys that fight these guys, right? So essentially, they have more space, they have more angle, and red team cannot really do anything. They have to take back space, right? You can't just let them hold extra space for nothing. Uh, we mentioned it before, I think uh, a week ago. Uh, space control is really really important in Overwatch League in high level Overwatch. The longer you hold uh, more space the more damage you will do over the same period of time and hence you, uh, the more likely you will win the fight over an extended period of time. So you always contest space first, then uh, play on point. So yeah, in this case, because both teams are a high level contenders team, this is the finals of any contenders, uh, they need to uh, they need to control space. So you wouldn't see, like the, the, the concept of controlling space is not very consistent in like lower tier contenders, it's not very consistent in trials, it's not very consistent in open division. Many times you see teams try to fight immediately, they try to dive uh, wherever the enemy backline is, even if the backline isn't the one that controls space. So for example, if these guys are playing over here, if these guys are playing over here, right? Let's say these guys are playing in the wrong area and they're playing over here, right? Let's say they're playing like that. So what should Red Team do? Red Team shouldn't actually dive, Red Team shouldn't actually dive the Zen and the, the, the break. No, 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 no. Red Team wants to control free space. So they, they want to like, for example, jump over here or, or move up over here. Then after that, Winston jumps on point and then the Tracer and the Sombra can play on this side. And now they have extra space because now Red Team is the one that can punish the tanks on the point. So, but in open division, if these guys might not actually move to dojo these guys might try to set up for a dive into the back line and that would be the wrong uh, uh that would be the wrong uh play the right play would tr uh, be try to fight for extra space that is not taken by the enemy so this is this is like 
it's not advanced advanced but it's a concept that is very fluid and it's very very hard to define right you cannot just say every single different map has different important spaces so in overwatch league this concept is practiced more consistently and then in lower rank it's not practiced as consistently because people people don't want to get space people don't see how important space is right people just want to fight immediately like immediately just lightning hit that like just lightning burst out for you're like striking like lightning just burst out for the enemy zen even though the enemy zen might be in a good position and even though you might want to find uh, better space than just uh yeah better space than just diving so tracer marks the opposing tracer or dive with monkey on discord yep that is right uh hey john currently in isolation might watch your stream today uh, also you must remember that uh, tracer has a lot of jobs sometimes the tracer wants to fight the dive the zen sometimes the tracer wants to fight the uh vi fight the enemy trace uh, tracer sometimes the tracer wants to mark the brigita sometimes the tracer wants to try to pause bomb because what a tracer wants to do depends on many many factors it depends on how how much space the enemy team is taking you might need to help your team con control space it depends on whether you want to pause bomb a brigita and you want to set up uh the, your team so that you can easily pause bomb the brigita so it would be wrong to say a tracer only needs to do one or two jobs right the tracer has many many jobs it could be to fight the brigita it could be to pressure the sombra it could be to pressure xyz and and that 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 purpose change uh according to uh, what's happening in, 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 in the fight and in Overwatch League things happens really really fast your job might change from pressuring the Winston into fighting the backline into marking the Tracer all in the span of like 10 seconds yeah. <laughs> Gibraltar blue box yeah. so you're currently in isolation like what you're in current quarantine quarantine you just re resign contenders contract which was a pain so I might as well watch the stream and learn a bit instead of doing school <laughs> Well, you could always walk, do school again and watch the stream. Forced to pop that you know. early. Same story so, with Aphox if they're not too careful. talk about space control, hunt, right? Found the backline. Pulse bomb thrown out. Won't find anyone. He has to escape the lightning from a tracer. Now we got to look at what Dalton wants to do with his. He's under pressure with the Orb of Discord. So, I don't know whether team... Okay, if... I, just off, like, looking at this, right? Just off looking at space. My prediction is that Team Envy wins this fight. Because... It feels like Second Wind decides to contest this uh, this space. They try. They feel like they, they are trying to contest this space, and they are trying to capture this space and and this space. But I think Team Envy would be able to still do too much damage. So I'm kind of interested to see. But prediction alone, right? Just off space control. I think Team Envy is probably gonna win. Let's let's see where I'm right. Right. Match him as well. So we've talked about the impact of this when you spec off that early. Same story with A Fox if they're not too careful. Kevster, he's on the hunt. So he goes for the pulse bomb, missed the pulse bomb. The Winston's really low. He gets a health back, tries to go for the Brigida again. So six now rotates over to middle. Tries to go for the, the tactical visor. They have rally. Force the trans from roof. A Fox uses trans. Hmm. Hmm. Used aggressively by Aphox to get that overlap against Wolf, who popped his early as well. Salieri gonna wrap around the point, nearly got the minefield at disposal. Dalton throws out the pulse bomb, not gonna find anyone. As the self destruction is deployed on the back line, Salieri's hunt, so he's gonna be, have to move around the pillars to keep himself up. Salieri's got himself a little bit of healing though, can slam down if he so desires, and Fincy has struck back, Shredlock disint. Yeah, so we see Team Envy winning, right? But they also use one more out than uh, second win. So how many outs did Team Envy use? They use... Uh, let's, let's count. They use Tactical Visor, that's one. They use Pulse Bomb, but... Okay, let's, that's two. But it's okay, he built another Pulse Bomb. They use Bomb, that's three. They use Rally, that's four. And then they use Trans, that's five. So they use five outs, but they built, like, uh, they built one more out. Uh, second, we use one out, that's Diva Bomb, one. They use Trans, that's two. And then they use Pulse Bomb, that's three. So they use five outs. The defense team use five outs to win a team with three outs. And, and that is like one of the concepts I was talking about, right? Uh, defense team will generally need to use... Well, the concept is that attacking team needs to use more outs to win defending team. But in this case, they use less outs. And yeah, they couldn't. They actually couldn't win uh, NV on defense. And you, if you notice one extra point, right? Uh, OG actually used uh, rally really, really really early in the fight and now he has he's halfway to another rally and it's one of the the, the good things about defend team if attacking team moves in because they use transfers right they use trans and then these guys use rally 
Uh, one of the good things about using Rally and Trance uh, as early as possible is if you know the fight is going to be really really long and you use defensive out as early as possible, you get to build the defensive, your next defensive out. You get to cycle. So he, if this guy's building his second Rally when this guy's only on his first Rally. So Team Envy has overall been playing this really well. Uh, I don't think it was possible for second win to honestly win that fight because uh, they used two defensive out like I said and second win, second win main win con is off their, uh, their EMP. So EMP is their main win con. EMP is that, that one one trump card that Team Envy doesn't have, right? Team Envy has a lot of damage in 76, uh, and, and, and Second Wind doesn't have that much damage, but Second Wind has an EMP, and EMP is one of the most powerful ultimates in high tier Overwatch. So we're just going to be waiting for this guy uh, to, to, to use EMP, and we're going to see whether that's going to be enough for a Second Wind to, to take, it, take it back. We're also going to take a look at the defense advantage that Team Envy is going to uh, attempt again because they already uh, went through one defense, uh, one successful defense, and now they only have Pulse Bomb and uh, Mice. And Second Wind is coming up with a Primal and an EMP and a Rally, which means that uh, Second Wind should essentially have uh, one out, two outs, three outs, uh, three outs, and Team Envy probably has like one out, and it's like a Pulse Bomb, but Pulse Bomb is not that great. So you're going to have like probably an out advantage by second win. So second win is essentially, the next fight is the fight they have to win. And remember, we talked about this, right? You have three chances. You win the first fight. If you lose the first fight, in KOF, you literally have three chances. I call this a three fight attempt. The first fight uh, is the, 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 you know, the fight with where no one has out. If you lose the first fight, if you lose the first fight, and you lose the second fight, right? Now you need to make sure that the enemy team uses ultimates for the second fight. Right, you need to make sure the enemy team uses ultimate for the second fight because the third fight is your last chance. The third fight is your last chance and this is when the clock is going to tick up to 90% and you need to win this fight. If you lose this fight, this is the fight that you have more ultimates than the enemy team because like I said, you need to make the enemy team use a lot out second fight. And second, third fight is your last chance and if you lose the third fight, you lose, you lose the cough map, right? Which is also why it's so important to win uh, the first fight in cough. Because not only is it insane to get like to start your clock ticking, uh, normally winning first fight gives you more outs for the second fight, and winning first fight generally allows you to win the second fight as well. And uh, if you win the second fight, even if the enemy, even if you give up the enemy third fight, right? Even if you give up, uh, you you lose the third fight. Essentially, you can lose it while building ultimates, and then you have three chances because it, it the, the thing flips to the enemy, right? And then hence you have three fights against to win. And you lose the first fight, you lose the second fight to the enemy, you still have the third th th try. But essentially, the attacking team that already has 99%, they are going to win one of these two fights. They're going to win either the second or the third fight. So that's that's the problem, right? That's the problem about losing the first fight in Korv. If you lose the first fight in Korv, uh, the, the team that win it will probably get up to 99% before you can flip Korv. And if they reach up to 99% and you flip it, it can be too late. It can be a lot too late. That's why first fight is so, 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 so important in Korv. Uh... By the way, my old team had Harley and Savage on it. Apparently, you two work together on GE, correct? Uh, we we worked together for a very short period of time. Yeah, I've seen uh quite a while back ago, maybe an hour, a year and a half ago, pretty long time ago. I've seen some pro games have six fight in a single on a single map in control. I mean, wait, six fights as in what? By by with a single team, as in six fight. And the 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 cough end hundred percent to zero. Cause that's impossible. I I think it's either impossible or like the fights are like someone's getting picked all the time and then the fight ends quick. If you mean six fight as in like the point keeps switching, like for example fight one, uh, because technically it can go up to six fight, right? Uh, when I say first fight and second and third and fourth, what I mean is uh just now I meant six fight because essentially if the point flips then you have three fights by each team. So let's say first fight, second fight, first fight, uh, you lose, you lose. And then you win. Let's say I'm the attacking team. And you lose, you lose, you win. And then the fourth fight, you, you will repeat this a second time, right? You'll go through one, two, three again. Except that now you are the one attacking. And then you will lose, lose. And then if you win, uh, so it's like nine, 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 zero. At the end of this is nine, nine, zero. Wait, let me try that. So I'm not, I'm not really explaining this really well, but essentially, by the by the end of the third fight, this could be zero, nine, nine, nine. And then the point flips, right? And then you go through the three fight again, and now you get nine, 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 nine. Yeah, so that's how you get six fight. If the point flips after ninety nine percent, then you get six fight. See, this is this is what you mean by six fight. But generally, three fights you have three fights chances with by from each team. That's what I meant. Each hundred percent is three fight. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Amazing.
So that's why first fight advantage is so important because if you win first fight, it's very likely you get 99% before the point switch or quite likely, depending on the meta. Some meta is easier to defend the point than other meta. So some meta you require, like for example, this meta, right? This meta you need, like uh, EMP is like a very powerful ultimate. Oh, let me see. So EMP is like a really, really powerful ultimate, right? EMP is like an insanely powerful ultimate, which means that <laughs> you might need to get, you might need to farm EMP to win. That means that you might take three fight. You might have to give the enemy team 99% before you attempt to flip the point or before you finally get a good attempt to flip the point. But in other metas like GOATS, on your second fight, you already have a good attempt to flip the point because everyone already has ultimate, right? It's like five outs versus six outs or something, and that's pretty fair, right? So you have like metas like that as well. So some metas it's easier to flip the point uh, by the second fight. Some meta it's very hard to flip the point by the second fight. And you have to go all the way to third fight. So it's pretty interesting. Face of Dalton and Team Envy remaining dominant right now as they push themselves into final fight territory. Celieri can lock down this objective if he does so desires as well for minefield. So you can see they they are back into dojo right. I talk a little bit about defense advantage and how that is really, really important and you need to force the enemy team to uh, uh, take back an area, like a powerful area that you control and that is what Envy is doing right now. They're controlling both Dojo, they're controlling both Dojo and they're controlling point and they're controlling uh, they're controlling access to their main, right, with the Tracer and Diva patrolling. The Tracer and Diva are like patrolling this way while the, the Hammer is playing on point. So really, really powerful uh, position by Envy and yeah. So they're gonna they're gonna get 99%, pretty sure. But second win is probably gonna win the next fight with an EMP and rally. especially if used on top of a drum to spread on those mines onto some of your squishy here. Ah, so this is much better for a second win, right? Second win is now attempting to capture Dojo. So previously, uh, in 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 the previous fight, what second win did was this. What second win did was they went this way. They went this way, and then they lost. They didn't do well and they lost. But now second win is uh, doing this way. Doing this way. And this is way more powerful. They need to dive, force these guys like that. They need to control this area and then they need to touch point. So essentially, second wing wants to control this area and they want to touch point controlling this area because this area run by two is the most powerful area. Right? All Overwatch League team, watch Overwatch League, you'll notice that all team contest this area. So, yeah. So let's continue. Four. The traces, they you can see second win, right? Coming by this way. So what? So what? Kefster want to do, like from Team Envy. This is what Tracer wants to do. He knows that he, he he can't win the fight. Like he knows that his team can't win the fight. So what he wants to do is he wants to get his pulse bomb stick on either the Brigitte or the the, the the Zen. One of these guys. He needs to kill one of these guys with his pulse bomb. Because if he can do that, so he needs to outplay, right? This is the part about variant. If you lose the ultimate fight. Then you need to look for outplay potential, and he's gonna do that. Oh, he's gonna try to do that. I, I didn't watch this match, so I don't know whether he actually successfully attempted the stick, but you can see him trying to do that. Early, yeah, not even close. Baby is Kevster finds an angle with the pulse bomb. The rally's there, so low, goes for the melee instead. Pulse bomb comes out. Ah, uh, that, that was a mistake. I think he was trying to line up. His, uh, he should have just stick here. Like, ah, uh, did he not stick because of the diva? Yeah, because he was in two blink territory. Like from here, he was one blink territory from the pulse bomb. So essentially, he wanted to, he 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 should have like blink here and then lock the pulse bomb in the air to get it uh, to stick it on the Brigitte. And maybe the question is, wouldn't it get eaten by the the diva? Yeah, maybe that's the risk you have to take. Right, that's the that's the risk you have to take. So I it's it's like an outplay thing. If the diva plays perfectly, sure, then you know he eats a pulse bomb. But if the, he doesn't, you get to blink and stick. But I think he kind of kept the kind of like chicken out, cause. He blink and then he quit a pulse bomb. See, look at look at that, look at that, look at that. The diva wasn't even looking at him. If he threw the pulse bomb right, like lopped the pulse bomb, threw in the air and then landed on the Brigitte, the Brigitte dies, like definitely dies. But he kind of chicken out and he didn't pulse bomb. Yeah, and he went for like a, a, a one clip melee, but yeah. That, that was very bad. No, not that wasn't very bad, but he could have played it better. Find the intended target yet again. Yet to see some sticks. Uncharacteristic of the likes of Dalton as Roth will take out Sally He could have carried the, the game right there. Like, he actually could have carried the game right there. Fox is throwing the hands. He needs to keep his team in smoke. Yes. I think they're still going to lose, probably. Well, it's going to be some rebuttal combat right now. Was a Fox taken out? Yeah, there we go. So, second is still going to lose. Uh, second is still going to win. EMP, like I said, EMP is just the most powerful ultimate. Oh, that, that's pretty good as well. Look at how many ultimates they use. I think they only use one ultimate. They only use EMP? No, they use rally as well. So, EMP rally. How many else did Team Envy use? Uh, they use mines and they use pulse bomb. Two for two, but pulse bomb and mines are 
Uh, even though the, it's two for two, and I, I mentioned how attacking team needs to use more ultimate to win, uh, second win use the better ultimates, right? Because EMP and Rally is way better than Pulse Bomb and Mines, right? Mines is nothing. It's okay. It's like an it's a good out, but it's not as good as EMP. And Pulse Bomb is a good out as well, but it's obviously not as good as a uh, Rally. So uh, I'll say in terms of value, like in terms of sheer value, uh, EMP is like the best ultimate in 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 this team, and then the second best is probably Rally, and then the third best is probably Trans. Something like that. Uh, interchangeable, but eh, interchangeable. Let's say Rally and Trans are same tier. So EMP and then these three. These three are the most expensive. And even if they trade like two of these outs or two of these outs, I mean, yeah, these these outs are just better. You know, just top good. These are branded goods. This this is Gucci. This is the Gucci out. Like Gucci LV. This is like a branded goods. This is like the supreme, supreme. This is like the easy boost. Yeah, these these are like cheap. This is like some. Chinese factory made, China factory made, Chinese factory made like Gucci and the Gucci is like spelled like fucking G I C C E Gucci or something. Yeah, it's it's fake, right? It's, it's not it's not good enough, right? But but if you play it well, right? If the if the tracer did it well, may may maybe it's maybe it can be maybe you can fool someone to think it's Gucci, right? If it's spelled correctly, for example. So he could have got the pause ball on the break. Like it, it was very possible. If he got the, the pause ball on the break, essentially they wouldn't have rally. And yeah, then then they probably Team Envy could have probably dived them. So if they if they didn't have rally, right? For example, let's 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 go back to this position. So if you kill the break right here. Right, if you keep the brick right here, then I would say Team Envy should just dive. Team Envy should just dive though. Like three, two, one, they dive into Dojo, like this area, and they just mines the whole area. And then Roof would they have a chance of killing Roof? And they also have a chance of forcing trance, I think. Did they even mine? Oh they did mine. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Eh, maybe it's maybe it was hard. I don't know. Yeah, they probably should have lost anyway. Yeah, even if they pass bomb the rally, eh, probably still have lost anyway. But there was a higher chance that they, yeah, that that was that was like a slightly higher chance. It, yeah, it doesn't matter whether you lose, even if you get a pass bomb. The, the point is you get the pass bomb first, and then we talk about whether you can win or lose. Yeah, because anyway. Alright, what an advantage of having a ball over monkey in Team NV composition? The advantage is uh, mobility. Uh... The ball is generally more unkillable, I would say. The Winston is very, very weak when someone poke you out. It's it's very easy to like strip off your armor and kill you, but ball you get to like if you're low you can always like roll away to another cover. As a Winston, you 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 don't your cooldown, your jump pack is not that cheap. Right, jump pack is every five seconds, and that is not. So, if you use a jump pack to escape and look for cover, you are essentially worthless for the next five seconds. It's kind of like Ryan without shield, but ball. Yeah, you don't have a jump pack. You just you literally just roll. It's not a cooldown. You can just fucking roll wherever you want, but uh, it's not easy to play ball here. I am not too. I don't think I can agree with them playing ball here because. Essentially, EMP and Sombras are very, very popular in this meta. So I think there's almost no point playing ball when you can play Winston. I'll just repeat. There's almost no point playing ball when you can play Winston. Which is also why you see so many teams, Overwatch League team, play uh, Winston instead of ball. Even though ball can survive a little bit easier, it is very, very hard to make ball work if the enemy team plays Sombra. And everyone's playing Sombra, so why use ball when you can use Winston, right? If Sombra doesn't exist, I think ball would straight up be better. If this composition was like 76 Tracer versus 76 Tracer... Yeah, then bomb might be better, but at the moment you have some bra boys is not great. Yeah. You can get a bit more burst group damage with ball, right? Uh, uh Winston Cleave is normally better because when ball goes in, right? When ball goes in and you try to power drive, uh you telegraph your action. So people can see you coming right there. boom 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 You see the, the people see the ball coming and you, you move up. And people just slam down. It's like the most freaking obvious. Like you have like three seconds to react to the ball coming in. You can discard the ball, shoot him down to half HP. So it's kind of like this. Look at look at the ball. The ball is like hundred HP, right? Look at this ball. He's fucking like five five hundred HP, right? And look at this. Bam! Dead. 
Because it, it's very obvious, like, if the ball rolls around the fucking map, it's fucking obvious that the ball is rolling around. You slap a disco on him, you, 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 you discard him, he's dead. But Winston is different, right? Winston, you're hiding behind cover. You're hiding behind cover, then you say, BAM! You just explode out and you jump onto to, to, on the team, right? And when you explode out, you put the bubble around the enemy team. So, in terms of explosive influence, right? Influence over, like, a 1-2 seconds window, Winston is way better. And that explosive burst impact, that explosive burst influence, is is is, is really, really important in high-level Overwatch, right? In, in Overwatch League. Because burst, bursty explosive initiation means less time to react. Less time to react means less time having Overwatch League players, Overwatch League level mechanics, and Overwatch League level uh, uh, reaction, and Overwatch League level brains, right? <laughs> to counter and to react to that like, Winston dive. I mean, Sure, if you know that Winston's gonna dive and then Winston dives takes three seconds, like it, it goes in slow mo and then you, you get to react with it, you get you get to boop the Winston, you get to diva, boop the Winston, and all that kind of thing, right? But Winston dive is fast. Boison. That, that that's essentially it. So in a high level gameplay, Winston is almost always gonna be uh, better than Ball. Uh, especially when it's Sombra. If Sombra is banned then you have a little bit more chance in uh, playing Ball. Because even if like if you don't get to hack the ball then yeah. Say if Sombra and Zen is banned, you have an even higher chance, yeah. yeah. It would have to be like a very specific ban. I think the ban that will help ball the most would be something like McCree. Is McCree has flashbang? May uh maybe Zen? Yeah, Zen is really really annoying. And for tanks, you'll probably be like Hawk, maybe. Yeah, if if, if like if it's like this bad. No 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 no. Maybe not McCree. Sombra 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 is even better. Sombra and May. Yeah, actually May is not. Uh... Yeah. Well, if you ban 3 DPS, it would be like Sombra, Mac, Cream, May. And then you can play ball. And ball will probably be OP. Mm. Even then... Yeah, it's hard. Like, I mean, yeah, it's hard. No matter how good you are as a ball, you just telegraph your action always. Yeah. But there are definitely like, some, some scenarios where ball is used. I mean, Overwatch League it's used as well for, in some specific scenario. Yeah. Now let me get some tea. I'll be back in like 30 seconds. You know what this is? You know what this is, guys? It's toilet paper. I can't even fucking find toilet paper anymore. I, I hate the Amazon and it's all gone. And all the near all the nearby supermarket, like uh all the nearby supermarket it's gone as well. It's very annoying. It's very annoying because like what a <laughs> so in my office, right? Or at least the facility, there's still there's still there, there's no more toilet paper left, but there's like napkins. You know what I mean? Like I don't know how to explain, like paper towel. But Honestly, like, who who wants to use, like, paper towel to wipe their ass after they take a shit? Because essentially, it's like rub rubbing your asshole with, like, sandpaper. It's very, very, very painful. Uh, so... Yeah, so I'll take a shit. And then I have to use napkin. And I'm just like, oh, fuck. <laughs> it's gonna hurt like shit. And it does hurt like crap. So please, please, please stop spamming toilet paper, guys. Please stop spam buying toilet people. Uh, in 
You just want Lucio to be unbanned. Let me just pull up my chat and make it bigger so I can read it. Is there a way I can increase the font? Jesus, I can hit, I can see shit. So what happens is I have two screens, right? Oh, set font. Ah, that's enter a font family for no set font size. How about twenty? Ah, oh, way better, way better, way better. Cause I have two screens, but my second screen is really small. So I'm just like squinting at my freaking screen, and now it's way better. Now I can see everything. Sombra Cree real good against ball. Hello, is bus. Hey, bus. Wait, are you streaming? Isn't it really early? Uh, it's what? It's is it three p.m. there or some shit? Wait, what time is it in Australia? I I actually don't know. Hard to play a ball into brick. I mean, brick is actually not like really really hard because uh brick has a bash and a, and a flail, but like it doesn't really do a lot of damage to you. You know, like the reason why Zen is horrendous is because if you have a McCree and you have a Zen or you have like a Sombra and a Zen. Essentially, if you get hacked and discarded, you die, right? So not only do you get CC, you get discarded and you die. Like, CC is not the only thing that kills you because you're super tanky. Like, it's CC plus something, like CC plus a lot of focus damage, for example. So for example, if if this, if this let's say it's Brigitta and um, Moira, let's say it's Brigitta and Moira, right? The bot doesn't really die. Like, even if you get hacked, eh, you, you might survive. You actually might survive. Like, it's a high, like, you have a decent chance to survive. But if you're Zen, Right, if you get discarded and hacked, yeah, that, this is this is what happened. Like that kind of HP. Look at this HP. Like this is what happens. Yeah, that that is what happened. <laughs> That's what happened when you have a Zen. Right, if you don't have a Zen, yeah, eh, maybe you survive. Yeah, maybe. This is so like a very wide space. Like the terrain is not great. F I mean, it's good for ball, but it's worse for ball if they have counter. But this 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 space is really really this this map is really really good for ball if there isn't any like counter per se because you can you can uh. You get to hook around these these things. You get to play on top of drum. You get to slam down. You get to travel around the map really really quickly. So it, it's good if there's no counter. But then again, a lot of characters are good if there's no counter. So the like, explanation is kind of like moot. You just want Lucio to be unbanned. You miss playing my boy. Yeah. Yeah, Lucio. I mean, you can play him rank. <laughs> you can play him rank. If you're talking about screams, then yeah. Yeah, Lucio is fun. Ball can be countered by like half of the supports. Yeah, some some counters are harder than others though. Like Zen is like a lot harder of a counter, and Sleep is a pretty hard counter as well. In double show, what DPS are the best? May Hanzo, May Kree. Uh. Hmm. I mean, it used to be double show the best. Uh, DPS would be like uh, yeah, Hanzo May is one of them because May fucks up the Rhine part of double show. And the Sigma part of Double Show. If you have Double Show, it means you don't have Diva. If you don't have Diva, it means your main gets to uh, f Blizzard for free. Most of the time. Hazus is also really, really good because if you have an Orisa, right, you can Hot and Dragon. And that's like a really, really powerful space-creating uh, combo. Uh, no stream today? Just taking the, the, the day off playing together? Just going through VODs? That's awesome. Dalton as Roth will take out Salieri. It's a 99% for Envy and they need to maintain control. Hey, Fox is throwing the hands. He needs to keep his team in this mode. Gets caught by... Ultra okay, so this is like this is what we talked about, right? Even before we talked about the match, I talked about how the first team that gets ninety nine percent essentially, uh, the first team, the, the team that wins the fight in Kov essentially gets to uh, keep the point until ninety nine percent, and then the point switches, and then now second win has uh, team NV has three chances to keep the point. In this case, they have two chances because uh, second win actually got some point, like they got some point percentage. They had like twenty percent or some shit. So it started from twenty percent. I can show. you. So you started from 24%, so essentially they have, instead of 3 tries, they have 2 tries, right? Team NV has to cap the point in 2 tries. This is try 1, right? Ever since they have lost the point, this is attempt 1. So attempt 1, can they win? Uh, maybe hard? I'll say they'll need attempt 2 to win. Uh, essentially what, what's going to happen is probably second win is going to engage first, right? You don't want Team NV to set up, so... Uh, second win doesn't have 76, they don't want to take their own sweet time in engaging, they want to like 3, 2, 1, fuck you, Envy, and then they just want to jump right into the back line with Primal, and try to kill the try to kill the Zen and, 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 and uh, the Brick, and essentially what's going to happen is they're going to force Rally, probably, they're going to force Rally, and yeah, they're going to force Rally, they're probably, they're probably force Rally with Primal, uh, second win can maybe use trans to make sure that they win out the 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 the, the visor. 
So second we will probably have to use this out, they have to use this out, Envy will probably use this out, this out, and this out, and then Envy is probably going to lose, but the next fight they're going to come back with Trunce. That is what happens if both teams play perfect, and then Envy wins the next fight with Trunce. Eh, actually, maybe not. It depends on whether second win can farm EMP as well. So it's kind of dangerous for Envy actually. That, that's the problem about the 76 uh, Tracer, right? If you don't have an EMP, essentially every single fight, if uh, the fight lasts for a, a, a decent chunk of time, uh, you can always try to farm EMP for every single fight. And essentially, if you farm EMP for the next fight, uh, you might not even lose even if you use like expensive ultimates because EMP itself is another, it's like one of the most powerful win cons. So even if you use two ultimates and Team Envy use one ultimate and you lose the fight, right? Let's say you fuck it up and you use two ultimates and you still lose the fight. Eh, it's not the worst thing. You can just EMP the next fight. So honestly, it's pretty 50-50 right now. It depends on uh, it depends on two things. How fast Ice can farm EMP and yeah. And also whether second win can actually farm their rally and whether second win can win this fight, this current fight, right? If second win can't even win this fight, then the point is moot. So if second win needs to win this fight with probably these two ultimates. And Envy need to try their best to rally and survive and try to win. And if they cannot win, honestly, they should just try to win. Yeah, honestly, they should just try to win. They should just use rally, try to survive, and then use trans and try to win because you really don't want to. <laughs> you really don't want to fight a team with with none of this out against EMP. So they they need both teams need to try to win this fight. Envy is not gonna do something like let's wait for two fights. Yeah, no, no. Both teams are gonna try their best to win this fight. They have the result. Both teams have the resources to win this fight. Uh, why is Zen Brick played over? Hey, Silk Cho, why is Zen Brick played over Bad Brick? Well, Zen Brick Discord, yes, more Discord, yeah. Uh, yes, Zen is more less diveable. Essentially, both are diveable, but uh, uh, both are diveable. Zen just does more. That's essentially. It. I I don't know who is less diveable. Both are equally diveable, I guess. Zen and Bab are both equally diveable. The only difference is that when you get dive as a as a Zen, right, you get to fuck up the Winston hard. Like you get to discard, uh, you you get the armor pack, right, and you get to discard the Winston, and you get to fuck up someone really hard. But when you're Bab, and someone dive you, the only thing you can do is survive, right. That's that's the problem. That's the power of dive. When you get dive, right, when you get dive, right, essentially when you get dive and you dive into the back line. I'm gonna use this. When you dive into the back line. Essentially, it's a 5v6. Why is it a 5v6? Why is it a 5v6? Because if you dive into the enemy backline, the enemies, one of the enemy support or whoever is in the backline, they only have to try their best to survive. You see what I mean? So, for example, if you dive to Baptiste, right? The Baptiste is like, oh shit, please, motherfucker, please save me. I need to survive. And you drop like your drone, right? Your lamb, and you're like, please, please, please. And you're like running away. You're like healing yourself. You're not doing jack for your team, right? You're just, <laughs> you're just focused on surviving. So, it's a 6v5. Because the enemy team, both their support is like, who oh, let's say you're playing Moira or Lucio, you're like, who oh, just press W, just go, go, go. It's still a 65. They get to do and help their team, but your back, the, the back line that gets dived on is like running away. They're like, oh, please, uh, mother of God, please save my ass, that kind of thing. See? So the thing about Zen is, right, <laughs> the power of Zen is, even if you dive to Zen, the Zen is like, fuck you. And <laughs> they discard the Winston. You see the Winston jumping, you're like, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> you're just fucking shooting the Winston, right? And even if the Winston lands, is discarded, the the the, diva, the, the the Zen is still like kiting backwards, like walking backwards, like freaking shooting the Winston as he goes and the Winston maybe dies, that kind of thing. So that's different, right? Zen, he's like a black belt in judo. It's a black belt in like taekwondo and karate. He gets to defend himself. Maybe he gets his ass kicked, but you don't get to like beat him up without like suffering a lot of like injuries, right? But Baptist, you <laughs> Baptist can't do jack. That's that's the difference. So yeah. Uh, however, there are teams that like to play Bab not in this meta, but there was a certain meta. I think in the May McCree meta in the May McCree before May McCree was banned. Uh, there were a lot of people. That, there are some teams. I want to say who, but there are some teams because I can. I I want to say it now because like the meta has shifted, so it, it's not relevant anymore, but there are some teams that like to play bad break because it is very good against dive if, if the rest of your team gets to fuck up the Winston. So for example, if you play Orisa, Diva, May, Reaper, or Hanzo, that sort of shit, right? Ah, then bad break might work because if you dive, if you try to dive that bad break, right, uh, you, you it's, <laughs> these guys will fuck up your Winston really, really hard. But if your team has Winston Diva, if it's not this and it's like Winston Diva Tracer, eh, these guys are not scary at all. Like compared to these guys, these guys are not scary. Not scary. Not scary. So essentially, if these guys are not scary, then Bab dies because if you jump the Bab, these guys are like, we're trying to help you, but these guys are not designed to pew, right? They're they're designed to dive. So 
dive comms are like glass cannon. They get to dive, but they're not very good at peeling. So if that a dive team jumps the BAP and the BAP has the dive team, essentially this team can't protect him or this team can protect him and help him out. So yeah. Alright, enough said. Let's take a look at some of the... No, nobody's talking about composition. Oh, you're talking about rank? Zen is not less diveable than Brick. Oh, Zen is technically less diveable because of the cell self defense. Why is the but yeah, like I said, it's it's like a definition thing. It's it, it, it both of you guys are correct, right? It's semantics. You know what semantics means? It means like it's just like a word, like a definition thing. Like you can be correct because of a perspective, and the other guy can be correct. Uh, Steel Troll can be correct because of perspective, and Tree Vo can be correct because of his perspective. So essentially, you could say that Zen is not less diveable, and you'll be right because you have a decent chance of killing Zen, right? But uh, you the other uh, tree vo is also correct because, like I said, you get to defend against you get to defend your, yourself a lot more powerfully than 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 a Baptist. Uh, Winston jumps is not scared of the bad break. Uh, Winston jumps at Zen, he's very very scared. You have to like make sure that a lot of conditions are met before you actually dive to Zen. So da -da 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 -da. Zen break sounds like no healing. Okay, ah here you also touched on the important. If this was rank, do not play Zen break. <laughs> Only play Zen Brick when your team knows how to play with Discord and knows how to peel for you. If you play Zen Brick in rank, right, that is kind of throwing, right? <laughs> the team is not going to protect you. Your team is not going to know how to play for space. Essentially, you're dead. Like, even in contenders, right, a lot in, like, low-level contenders or, like, low uh, on trials or, like, other regions or, like, yeah, there are <laughs> many occasions where Zen Brick just doesn't cut it if you do not know how to play with it. So it's, like, it's like the higher tier. Remember about goats? You guys remember goats? Remember, goats started out with this, the, you know, all the the fucking three tanks, Ryan, Daya, Diva. I mean, no way you guys, no way you guys forgot your goats. It's very fresh. The pain is fresh in our mind. So remember how everyone started goats with Moira, and then they played Anna. Remember, and then they finally went to Zen. It's the same thing. It's the same thing in a high level team. Uh, in a high level uh, coordinator team, you don't need all the healing. You just need more damage, and then you you try to take less damage by playing behind good cover. By making sure you play behind shield, by making sure you are coordinated in your uh, your your space control, and then you take a lot less damage, and then you you, you also get to do dish out more damage. So it's the same thing, right? Brick Zen is like the evolution of 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 that same concept, right? You don't need more heals. You just need uh with a good team, you only need to like control space to uh get fucked like a lot less. <laughs> you talking about comp because you want big Asa, so you want to run Bep Zen in double shield for more shield break. Yep. Zen Brick is played a lot in rank right now. Alright, uh Yeah, I mean I guess you could play Z Zen Brick in rank, but eh, I think it's hit and miss. Hey, don't don't take my word for it, right? Rank is like a different ball game. I'm not paid to analyze rank. You could be right and Zen Brick works, right? My opinion is that uh it's hit and miss because it depends on your team, right? So if your team peels it's a god com, right? Maybe it's insane and your team doesn't your Winston doesn't like fucking feed his ass off by jumping and everything. Maybe it is it is it is a god com, it has like good potential to be a god com. But if your team doesn't play well and then you guys the, the you if you are Zen and Brick you keep you keep dying and you're like, Why isn't my team peeling for you? Hey, I, I don't feel sorry for you at all because like <laughs> I already said that you can't expect your team to peel for you, right? It's just the way it is. Yeah. Alright. Uh, the fuck? Yeah, anyway, dude. Also, rank bans like a whole different ball game. I don't agree with the rank bans. I I think it's really. I think it's it's not smart. Well, I was gonna say it's dumb, but that sounds very very abrasive. So I'm gonna say it's not smart or Blizzard to ban Moira and Anna, two of the most powerful main healers in rank. That is, that that is not smart. <laughs> yeah. All right. Our heroes are banned in this contenders match. Uh no, Bab is not bad. Uh Reinhardt. Wait, I don't even know where. Uh okay, Reinhardt. Rein da, 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 da. No no no, was it Re no, yeah, yeah. Rein Cause this was fresh off the main Macri meta. Was it what the fuck was it? Uh was it Macri and May? No, no, no. Was it this? I can't remember. Fuck. When uh, there are new bands week to week, I uh, you forget very easily. And Lucio, I, I'm pretty sure it was Lucio, right? Yeah, was it May Macri? I think it was May Macri. I think it was Ryan May Macri. Lucio was it? I think maybe. Oh shit! You're right. No no no. Ryan, Ryan. 
Yeah, Widow McCree. Was it Bab? Ah, oh, fuck, man. See, I have bad memory. Is it Bab? I thought it was Lucio. Fuck. Jesus, my memory. That was Moira! Fuck you guys! You guys are all wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, but got it right. <laughs> oh, you guys came up with a different thing. Tricky Zerk said it was Ryan Cree, Widow, Widow, Lucio. And then Tree Vol said it was Vap. <laughs> and then Air Track said it was Moira. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are wrong. You guys are all untrustworthy. Okay, who was the one who came up with the first correct answer? Let me, let me, let me look. It was... It was... Uh, okay, was it wrong? Wrong. Wrong. Dimfuck was the, the first one that was right. Yeah. Yeah, nice one, Dimfuck. I bet you googled. I bet you googled, man. <laughs> I bet you Google. I don't believe you didn't Google. Busan. Yeah, I, I literally just I literally am an Overwatch League coach, a head coach of Overwatch League team, and I also couldn't I also couldn't remember. Yeah, that's because all the bands are different. That's why you couldn't remember your rank bands and your contenders bands and your open thief bands and your Jesus man. Once yeah, again, I don't know. I, I, I gave feedback to Blizzard. Everyone did, so hopefully it gets a little bit better. It's up to Blizzard to decide what is best for like the competitive uh, structure of Overwatch League and contenders. And we're on board with him as he's ready to attach a pulse bomb to an unsuspecting team. All right, MV. uh, fuck. We keep we keep side tracking. So what, what did we want? What, what did we say? Oh, we say that second win and team MV both wants to win. Nine of them are gonna go for like a soft engage. They're gonna go and both try their best to win. Second win is gonna try their best to win with uh primal, which is a really really powerful out. A uh, perfect play means they open with primal to bait out rally and then try to win by with a trance rush. Team MV will probably want to use both ultimates and maybe this to try to win because if they don't win, then their uh, second win is gonna get EMP and hence with EMP is win. But it's very hard to predict who is gonna win this fight because essentially both trace as pulse bomb and pulse is like one of the big death like definer of like sheer mechanical play right if you are insane you can land pulse and just kill one person straight and if you're not insane the pulse bomb is useless so it goes from 100 to zero really really quickly when it comes to pulse bomb so we're gonna see who wins my money is on envy but it's hard to tell you gotta be very careful with the spacing here though, um, my money is on envy because i think their ultimates are slightly better right they have rally already and they, they can use the rally to build their trance that's why i think it's on envy but it's already like 55 45 probably so 55 percent chance they may win is close enough be your primary yeah. target you want to catch but you can be shield bashed out of that cast. ultraviolet melted from the oh that could happen <laughs> and someone dies in the first three seconds. Fight early by Aphox. He's not going to be jumping in there. And they have to contend against the armor of OG being put out by that rally. Shredlock going for the environmental. Great shield bash by OG to get. I'm not sure what the Sombra is doing. Look at second win Sombra. This is really, really slow. Look, look. He's like 17% now, right? He's like 17% now. He's like 6. It's like passive. 17, 18, 19, 20. Come on. Do we have a 20? Oh, okay, we have a 23. Do you have a 30? Do you have a 30? Do you have a 30? Nope. 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 30. Oh, yeah, it's freaking slow. I'm not sure why, and I don't want to blame him because he's getting it slow, because I, I don't know why he's getting it slow. But essentially, this is really, really slow. EMP farmed by Sombra. Do we have a 50? Do we have a 50, Sombra? We have a, we have a, we have a fifty. We have a fifty. We have fifty. We have a fifty. So essentially, he found thirty percent. Oh, we have a forty. We have a sixty. We have sixty-five. Yeah, they lose. But I mean, one of the reasons is because someone got picked, right? Was it ultraviolet? Yeah, it's like a five ball to the face. Yeah, yeah. You just you lose straight away if that happens, because. Ultraviolet was gonna, was gonna get rally of this, right? Because let, if, if, let's say Ultraviolet didn't die, and then Roof trans engage. Essentially what's gonna happen is, if Ultraviolet didn't die here, then this engage right here, Ultraviolet would be able to charge out his rally. Yeah. And then with the rally, maybe Ice could farm a little bit faster, but from the looks of it, Ice was really slow anyway, so it was probably 